One sec, uh, now coming, yep, recording. Yes, sir. If we recap the yesterday session, which one? Yes. If we recap, we recap the yesterday session, we are discussing about the handling unit management. Yes, for the definition wise, packaging material plus product. Product means uh, one or more products. And uh, we cannot restrict for uh, only one product in that box or else only 10 products in the box or whatever it may be. Okay. One packaging material plus one or more products with an identification number, unique identification number that is a handling unit. Okay. And for that, we configured some packaging material types packaging material groups number ranges okay these packaging material types and packaging material groups both are in sync between the two systems to identify the packaging materials okay but coming to the number ranges vice versa it would require to maintain say ecc internal number should be identified by the ewm system means there in EWM that number range is external and EWM's internal number range is external number range for the ECC system that should be identified okay that is the main thing and apart from that we have discussed HU type <coughs> HU type group HU type and HU type group and HU type differentiate the physical characteristics of the handling unit physical characteristics say for example if we go with a cotton box this is a generic word cotton box okay we have cotton boxes say cb 2 into 3 2 into 3 this is inches 2 into 3 is this is one of the cotton box cb 6 into 8 this is another kind of cotton box like we can maintain okay we can maintain coming to the handling unit type coming to the handling unit type say my requirement is handling unit type 1 is boxes which are having height below 10 inches assume that below 10 inches height below 10 inches okay say water comes under here this is the one handling unit type water comes here cotton box 2 into 3 into 8 inches this LBH sorry and another box assume 5 into 6 into 10 this is also one kind of cotton box these two boxes if we see this is one kind of packaging material this is another kind of packaging material yesterday one of our friend asked us uh, what kind of packaging materials actually i used generic terminology called a packaging uh, cotton box palette and whatever it may be see here cotton box 2 into 3 into 8 inches 5 into 6 into 10 inches okay if i want to use this this is one specific kind of characteristics means equal or below the 10 inches means this is one specific handling unit type and i have another one ho type that is also a cotton box cb 6 into 8 into 
12 inches. This is one cotton box. CB 5 into 10 into 14 inches. Assume that. This is also another kind of handling unit type. Another kind of handling unit type. If we see here, this HU type, this HU type, I can able to store up to 10 inches only, up to 10 inches rack. Rack height is 10 inches. There I can fit these two handling unit types. Okay, and I cannot use these handling unit types in that kind of uh, this one, 10 inches storage bins. 10 inches storage bins. I cannot use. Why? This height is more. This height is more. Now you can tell me, sir. Guess me. Guess me. I have one bin one. I have one bin two. I want to maintain bin one height 10 inch. Bin two height 15 inch. This bins with me. How you can manage this in the system? Just recap our old sessions. Somewhere we have seen this inches. Where we can maintain this? <coughs> Please guess, sir. So when we created the bins, there we have the option to maintain the size of the bin. Okay. We can open the system. Yes, sir. Another thing? Somebody is uh, saying this. Slash n slash scwm slash ls01. Say bin one ten inch height. Where one of our friends uh, said that, yeah, during the bin we can maintain. Where is this, sir? Okay, somebody is using uh, this user ID. What we can do? Sir, that field is not available in bin. Then where do we? Uh, okay, uh, we will go there also. We will go there also. Is that in bin type? Yes, exactly. Bin type. Bin type. Exactly. Bin type. Okay. Just. I am going in bin structure. Say whatever it may be. We don't have this option. We don't have the option to keep this thing. Go to the bin types. Define storage bin types. Say here we can maintain. Here we can maintain storage bin types. Okay, length, width, height is there here. If I maintain the 10 inches, okay, if I assign this bin type to our uh, storage bins, that height applicable. Okay, this thing. Now, if we go through this uh, notepad, if we go through this uh, notepad, I think any doubts are to understand this HU type. 
here packaging material is cotton boxes but we have different hq types any doubts these handling unit types are maintaining at a global level client level if i want to use this to our warehouse we can use hq type groups we can use hq type groups okay we maintain the hq type group and assign that h2 type to our warehouse and say for example i want to assign the respective handling unit types again is the storage type up to 30 h2 types it is possible 30 go to img cross processing settings Handling unit management basics define HQ types for the each storage type. This one field 30 30 handling unit types we can assign. We can assign. And one field is there in the storage type HQ type check. <coughs> Define storage type one field H2 type check. If we activate this, <coughs> if we activate this, it is mandatory to maintain the H2 types for the storage type, and it's mandatory to the H2 types for each storage bin type. Just now we have seen. At the bin type level, we are having handling unit type. Sorry, height, 10 inches. Okay. If I want to go through this HU type check, two things we need to maintain. The first thing is the define HU type for the each storage type, and second type is second is define HU types for the each storage bin type. Okay. This one. Okay. Okay. This is the H2 type check. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> this one. Now, yesterday we started with a simple test case. We have created a handling unit, some triple three number within the ECC system that is distributed as a does it that is distributed into EWM along with the HU information. Okay, that we can see now inbound delivery. Go to extended warehouse management, delivery processing, inbound delivery, inbound delivery notification. This is the inbound delivery notification. Handling unit is there. Triple three. The same is flowing into the inbound delivery also. Handling unit. Triple three. So our number range is identifying by the EWM system as external. That's why we are not getting any this thing. Okay. Just I am doing the goods receipt. Okay, this one. Now we can come with two HUs with two line items. What will happen? We can check for the second test case. This is a simple single handling unit. Now we can come with two handling units, two line items. Two handling units, two line items from ECC.
അപ്പോൾ ഇതിക്കു എന്താ പച്ചയാടാന്ന് ടു ലൈൻ ഐറ്റംസ് വി ക്യാൻ കാപ്പി we change the product after copying this we'll check the confirmations Save it. Two line items. And VL31. Zero one. Say two two items. now go to this pack here enter our cotton box first product pack in this and one more product is there say here before packing there is no weight and this thing if we select this pack two cottons now this one save it now come to ewm inbound delivery execute this one not this double one two four three this one two line items are there here two handling units also there then how do i identify which hu which line item and this thing come here select it if we select this handling unit hu item here you can see double click on the hu here under the hu items we can see here this is the product two quantities is there this is the product two quantities are there okay there i have created two handling units in ecc those are flown into the ewm yes for the line item wise go to inbound delivery here also we can find out the handling units we can find out the handling unit okay but here it's not possible to <coughs> it's not possible to see this information it's not possible one said here we double click on this handling unit to click on the packaging material and watch it yeah hello <coughs> can you hear me sir yes split second na uh, Uh, some uh, network problem was there a yeah, split second hear me sir can you hear me yes it is audible yeah okay yeah yes we can yeah yeah, yeah thank you sir one uh, some one or two seconds audio last 
that's what now come to delivery processing inbound delivery inbound delivery notification ours is two handling units two line items go to inbound delivery handling unit double click on the handling unit the actual uh, packaging work centers are not at uh, this one determine that's why it is not coming okay this one you see here two line items two handling units okay this thing this is another test case two individual handling unit now we come from ECC in another way Two two products. Go to pack. Cotton box. Okay. Two products I packed in a single handling unit and saving it. WMS. Two line items are there, but coming to the here, the handling unit is one. If I want to see the content here, H2 items is two products are packed in the same handling unit. Same handling unit. Two products in same handling unit. Come to the inbound delivery here also, one handling unit okay this one two products club together and packed in a single handling unit okay this one now we can do one more test case three three go to pack button cotton box Back into this. Back into this. Two individual handling units are there. But these two cotton boxes, I am keeping into one more cotton box. That is nested handling unit. HU within the HU is nothing but a nested handling unit. Okay go to this pack hus go to this pack hus here enter one more cotton box or else pallet this time pallet these two cotton boxes i am packing into a pallet select this pallet this is empty here see here this one select this this pack this one pallet save it come to ewm Come to HU. See here. Here something like different. Here handling unit is 339. It is showing. Okay. For that we have used packaging material and this thing only. Come to here 337 with hierarchy level plus is there. 337 is the handling unit. What is the highest level hierarchy level HU is higher level. 339 means this 337 is packed in this 339 like 338 packed in 339 this is the meaning 
339 is not packed in anything okay anything here this one see here this thing okay plus symbol and hierarchy level now hu details double click on this there is no direct if we double click on the inside it is showing three each this product if this is another this is showing this product okay any doubts are regarding this handle hierarchy and higher level hu any doubt here this is the meaning 337 is packed in 339 handling unit number nested handling unit nested this information is available in inbound delivery notification level now go to inbound delivery what will happen hierarchy is there any limitation sir this many levels only we can have no oh, nothing no limitations are up to your uh, box size you can do whatever it may be no limit box and again again box and uh, again place place box. place 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 like it will come okay in next example higher, I will... higher number will be the last one correct higher number will be the last one last one correct exactly sir yeah now <clears throat> Now, if we go to the inbound delivery, click on the HU. Only higher level it is there. No information of the lower level HU at inbound delivery. Okay. One HU we have received. And these items, line items, we have received. We have at inbound side. This is the difference between the hierarchy means uh, uh, nested handling units between the inbound delivery and inbound delivery notification. At inbound delivery notification, we are having the play symbols and this thing, play symbols. But coming to the inbound side, only highest level HU, it is showing. Our friend is asking uh, what is the limitation. There is no limitation. In the next test case, we will come with two levels. This one. Here it is there only. Okay. Now come to the next test case. Four. Four. Go to pack. Sorry, pallet, whatever it may be. Pallet or box, whatever it may be. First we have packed this. Okay. Go to package you. Okay. Your number of levels. Uh, the structure is confusing, sir. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Okay. We, we will see in, in uh, EWM what will there. Okay. Just uh, first what I do, uh, two products, okay, uh, kept in uh, pallets. Okay. Again, one pallet is keeping another pallet, then another pallet, then another pallet. Enter history is available in uh, EWM. I will show you. Go to inbound delivery notification. Just our friend is asked any limitation. See here, this one. 345 is the highest one. If we come to from downside, 342 I have packed in 343, 341 packed into 343, okay, 
and 343 is packed this one three packed is 343 packed in 344 then 344 packed into 345 and 345 is not packed in anything this is the highest level h u my question in the inbound delivery what is the h u number we can display with the previous example 345 any other answer sir is it correct sir 345 okay others also sir please provide your inputs Which one will appear in the inbound delivery? 343. 343. Okay. Any other guesses, sir? We will check, sir. Three forty five only, sir. Top level. Top level only it will appear. Okay, this one. Okay, sir, this thing. Like we can handle with HU generation within the ECC that is identified by the EWM system. Okay. Now, I am going with another example. five products this also five products and from ECC those these two items are these two items are distributed to the EWM but the, the items are handling units but HU information is not available or else okay I will come across again from the ECC, I am receiving two boxes with five five items. Okay, there is no handling unit. But in a, in EWM, I want to paste some handling unit number over that boxes and keep in warehouse. Got it, sir? Once again, from the ECC, mute yourself, sir. From ECC. I received two boxes of five items each. I want to maintain handling units in AWM for those two boxes. I want to maintain for those two boxes means I want to build a handling unit for those boxes in EWM we will check okay go to EWM system this one Five, five items of these products are there there is no handling unit in the inbound delivery there is no handling unit but I want to generate the handling unit packing means generating the handling unit for this one go to inbound delivery follow on functions pack once again Inbound delivery, follow on functions, pack. Go to here. Okay, no entry select. Select. Go to follow on functions, pack. System is taking us in work center packing for inbound delivery. This is the virtual work center actually. Here, two products we can. And we have some options to so create HU, repackage HU change HUs and etc are there here I want to pack these two products into individual handling units 
two boxes. Here I am entering packaging material, AAPL carton. Two line items are there. Two HUs I require to execute it. Here, see here, two handling units are farming with one two double zero one one two double zero two. This is the internal number of CP. Yesterday we have assigned internal number of EWM. Just drag and drop. This one, drag and drop. Okay, save. Two handling units are formed. This one. Come back. Go to handling unit. See here, two handling units are built. Now, coming to the inbound delivery notification. Again, is this inbound delivery? We cannot have the handling unit. Why? Any reason? We cannot having the handling unit. Any reason? Because IDN is the uh, save replica of uh, ECC in modality. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. That is save replica. From ECC, uh, we did not get any uh, handling unit information. That's why it is not showing in the inbound delivery notification. But at inbound delivery level, I have generated two handling units. I have generated two handling units. This one. Now, coming to our ECC inbound delivery. Go to environment, document flow, open, still. Now, I am doing the goods receipt. I am doing the goods receipt for this one. Inbound delivery. Goods receipt completed. Now, come to our... Goods receipt is completed. See here handling units. Here internal handling units. These are generated apart from this. Okay. Come back. Go to this. One sec. Internal or one sec, sir. Hold on. Something going. Okay, yeah, here, here it is not there. Go to environment document flow one three one sec only one we have selected right here. Yeah. Come to environment document flow. Yeah. One three double zero seven one three double zero eight. Here one two double zero one one two double zero two he generated but coming to here some six of same thing yeah. some handling unit is uh, changing here Double one two four eight hours. Double one two four eight. But here handling unit is coming here, not this one. One two double zero one two double zero two. CP is our this thing, but it is turning as a one three double zero seven. What is happened here? One sec, sir. Number ranges we can check. Go to SPR IMT Logistic General.
handling units basics cotton marks we used ye car cotton marks yeah cp is there next coming to external identification this one cp up to 13000 is there but here it is the 13000 uh, i'll tell you one thing because yeah. number range is already uh, ended and until 13000 uh -huh. okay so okay it is then what should we do one thing number, number range should be same in both systems i mean uh, it, it should not be used when you maintain the number range correct this is the external number range that is a problem right we can do one mm -hmm. thing yeah 15000 we can give okay 15000 here 14000 to 15000 we are giving okay 14000 to 15000 we are giving external number range now come to our ewm system again go to spro cp here here handling units cp or apl this is delete okay first Delete it. Come to change again. Fourteen thousand to fifteen thousand. Okay, this thing. This one. This is correct. Uh, working fine. Okay, this. 14,000 to 15,000 internal number range I am giving. Now we can come with one more test case. VL31N. Five. Five. Save it. go to inbound delivery notification inbound delivery go to pack fall on function pack packaging material cotton box two boxes i required execute here repack product button also we can use instead this one but here we need to have delivery number and night app number for this example also we can go with the drag and wrap save it back handling unit 40,000 40, do the goods receipt 
okay now come to ecc we can check either number range no automatically it is taking a 13 series only what is the problem here automatically it is taking the whatever there i am using here that is only taking some what is here we can do one thing go to spro Instead of TP, you can change any other options. Pardon, sir? Next one. Instead of number in TP, you can change other Correct, correct, correct. Correct. 99 is there. 99 external number range. 99 we can use. Okay. 99. Some lengthy number range, whatever it may be, we can use. Not a problem. Defend packaging materials. Ninety nine. Okay, this thing. Here, hate you types. Don't require for us. We are just using H two types in this level, EWM level, not in ECC level. Okay, this thing. Now we maintain ninety nine in our EWM. Go to new number range ninety nine. Copy this ninety nine. This ninety nine. Okay, internal this only. Save it. Go to aside number range intervals to packaging material types. Come to here. Select our warehouse. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Okay. This to our copy. Now we come with one more test case. One more test case. VL thirty one N. Now come to EWM.
go to inbound delivery there is no handling in it go to follow on functions pack button to required okay new number ranges are creating goods received come here to series no sir something is hard coded always it is taking 13 series only something is hard coded here okay something is hard coded here something is hard coded sir that's why that is only taking that is converting into local language okay not uh, this one okay anyway yeah tomorrow we will check that okay this is about the handling unit when the resume that uh, two series is created in the gcc okay this one something is uh, somebody is uh, hard coded this uh, actually number range is hue hue iphone vekp say for example i have another thing yeah yeah something is hard coded sir we will check okay okay sir thank you thank you for attending the session have a nice day bye